Um, I just did the um, piece about Alice Mirza, or the woman who claimed to be Alice Mirza. Um, her visual looks like um, the character Stitch, S T I C H, from Disney's Princess Collection that I have of characters. Um, the woman that presented herself as Gina. G-I-N-A, married to George, G-E-O-R-G-E, uh, who had very dark complexion. In fact, they looked just like Lilo, L-I-L-O, that kind of hair, that color skin, although neither of them were Hawaiian, H-A-W-A-I-I. Um, although I will say that that then pairs in with a TV show called Dragnet, D-R-A-G-N-E-T, and Hawaii Five O. Um, I don't know how that all links together, but I know it's important uh, for linguistical whatever. Um, when Maria used to say, uh, when I went over to her house, she's like, uh, I don't know. She's like, I, I don't know how you, like you, for me, she's like, you just poof and you're here, but they know that you're coming. So they sit with me and sometimes Donna, but mostly me. Um, they sit with me being Alice, Mer Alice Mirza, Michael Mirza, Gina, whatever her last name is, and George, whatever his name is. Um, would sit with Maria Mirza and Donna Mirza. And then um, I would be on some magical timing mechanism because of some whatever court case or whatever was going on, and poof, I would just be here. So Maria's like, so what do your people tell you before you come? And I'm like, my people? I'm like, what people? I'm like, Linda and Lou? I was like, they don't know anything. I was like, I don't even think they're real. Um, and she's like, oh. And I was like, what's a court case? And she's like, well, I don't know. Somebody got in trouble because they did something. It has to do with, I don't know, national security or the parks department or, I don't know, Alice, they're calling Chaco Canyon and Pueblo. And then Alice came up because uh, when I poofed in, I'm like, what's a poof? And she's like, I don't know. You just look like smoke. And, and, and then you're there. She says, I don't know any other. Like, none of us in this house do that in New Hyde Park. I'm like, oh, well, I didn't even know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just here. I didn't, I don't know what it looks like when I arrive. But, or, I don't know, I've never seen anybody do that either. Um, so, um like, uh, the, they used to, because Alice claim, Alice Mirza claims, the one that looks like Stitch, um, claims to be, even, but the color on the blue gets to be a problem because she's the one with the cross eyes. But anyway, um, she, uh, has some gigantic women liberation movement, I call the Liberace, whatever, um, of, like, Listen to me. If you live in the Far East, listen to me very fucking carefully. I'm starborn. I am not dealing with any fucking woman to get to my man. There is no woman except for myself in my marriage to Nick Klaus. So if there are some laws to keep a quiet, private committee of only men for him to document and to get things done before like massive problems and like and casualties happen so be it i don't owe a fucking woman a goddamn thing and anybody who puts a lawsuit in for the us parks department or the national parks and recreation or the parks department just to hold up nobody said that Alice Mirza, the so-called one that I saw on when they poof me into reality, nobody said that she could be 
considered pre-Columbian and that she was what the vis visual looked like in Chaco Canyon. Nobody said that she was pre-Columbian. Nobody said that her look was going to be um, ancient anything. I didn't need Pueblo. I didn't need Chaco Canyon. I didn't need her to call herself a native American Indian. Those three words put together on a worldwide scale with the letters and the other stuff going on is a big fucking problem. Um, and it's how they've gotten away with murder um, and with wasting my entire time here, uh, which causes other court cases. Just give me a second, Nuge. So um, they apparently stole me. Uh, one time I was eating something and I thought I was in school in the cafeteria, I just disappeared, and I wound up at Maria's house, and I'm like, wait a minute, and I'm like, I thought I was just at school, I was like, how did I get here on some magical timing mechanic in some hidden court case that nobody can figure out, but Alice apparently got someone to give me a digital clock when I was little, so they could uh, reset whatever anatomical timing I had and then tie it up in some U.S. women's fucking pussy movement of fucking kill them all um, for doing this and um, some um, like here's the thing the word demon d-e-m-o-n is the same start to the word demolition d-e-m-o and then you have the enlightened and then you have the demolition crew Alice Mirza and Gina, whatever, married to George, is the demolition crew. They are dimly lit on only their wants, needs, and knowing of things. And they could give two shits less about my real appearance or life. So they're what I call anarchy. They're Democrats because they think that they're aristocratic. They think that they're visual woman being dark skin, dark hair and Middle Eastern of some sort is more important as a democracy, as Democrats, as in aristocrats than my starling actual aristocracy. They've created a whole bureaucracy and bureau system of putting things in drawers, closing them and hiding them and locking them in, like my wife, for the last 42 years, which is why I said just kill them all. I have more important things to do, and I have been stolen. Now, here's the other thing that used to get Michael Merza all upset. He's like, listen to me, Gina. He's like, you keep playing with this kid and some magical timing me mechanic that nobody else believes except, like, the NASA department... And, like, parts of the military that are, like, really fucking frightened. Because if you, at dark skin, are able to take a, something called a Nazi, an SS Soviet, and an ancient goddess that's already on record, who's already convicted you in the future, but you continuously don't give a crap about this one girl and want to prove to all your friends just how much your education means and that you whatever women really need to be loud, obnoxious, and, and anarchy all over the fucking world. He said, if you pull this one white girl into your dark-skinned house, just so Maria can get to know her, have a sandwich with her, and talk to her about a court case going on, because they already know that you did this, what do you think is going to happen to girls that look like Maria in the future? I'm just, like, just curious. Because if this one white girl can't stop being pulled into your dark house that she didn't ask to come to, nobody called her, nobody alerted her parents, nobody alerted her, nobody even explains to her how you're able to do it and that it's even possible and what this all means for her in her future, and then you're just going to dump her in a life of absolutely nothing where she gets raped by two guys and the whole department knows about it. 
and she has four children that she doesn't want, which isn't that what you were saying the other people did to you in your homeland, which is why you needed to liberate and gang together as fucking cunts together, like, of, like we're more important as a group than one girl who is going to ensure that it definitely continues with all of your dark-skinned girls in the future for punishing her one life. Because she is so frightened of the fact that you even went this far because if it happens to her one white ass and everyone knows and is arguing to shut down the service and you as a women's group and they can't because then you bury shit that then they can't seem to get out of some kind of court and an unlocking mechanism and the whole world might go extinct just because you had to liberate yourself from some past you read in an ancient text that you don't even understand the full, the full story of the catastrophe that you're causing. And here we are. Year 2020. They did whatever they want. They locked me in some kind of fucking cunt court system. I want every single one of those fucking cunts. Alice Mirza, anything national parks and anything U.S. recreation or parks fucking rounded up everything and fucking shot in the head and made sure that they never make a schedule of human anywhere in my level of service at Toadstool. Because I am so fucking sick and tired of these fucking cunty women and whatever they're connected with. Uh, Maria even said, she's like, Nicole, you gotta be careful. Like, they warned me. You gotta keep your wits about you. W-I-T-S. I'm like, what, what's a wit? And she's like, I don't know, it has something to do with women's intuition and, like, the timing mechanism. And I'm like, right, but if they um, bury or abandon my clock, then my intuition's going to be off because I already, like, I mean, the word intuition, it's the, first of all, it's King Tut's service. I'm ancient Giza, an ancient goddess of Egypt. I know Gina's level of color skin, now that they've uh, made themselves comfortable in that landmass, think that it's only her and that they're the aristocrats. Uh, kill them all. Nobody needs... I mean, it's a big desert. Another nuclear attack. Nobody will fucking notice. And there'll be body parts everywhere. They'll disintegrate. We've done it before. Um, for causing this amount of time lapse... And purposefully burying me in stupid fucking level cunt cases where none of their cunts matter at all. Except to execute them in massive fucking quantity and quickly. So I can have my clock back and I can have my man back and I could maybe enjoy the rest of eternity without having to worry about fucking human.